a scary truth about Cole Palmer that no one is noticing. Comparing Palmer to Lampard. Cole Palmer is currently one of the best players in England. Having had years of warming the bench at Manchester City, the Englishman's move to Chelsea at the beginning of the 2023-24 season has proven to be a great decision, as he has cemented his position in the starting eleven. Many believe the Chelsea team is now built around him, just like it was built around Frank Lampard. Like Lampard, Palmer possesses exceptional passing range, close control and a keen eye for goal. He's also a versatile player who can operate in several midfield and forward positions. Jamie Carragher says he admires Cole Palmer for swapping Manchester City for Chelsea and believes he is becoming the main man at Stamford Bridge. Cole Palmer has had a wonderful first season with Chelsea. Off the back of his hat-trick against Man United, he has scored 16 goals and made 8 assists in 26 appearances in the English Premier League as of April 5, 2024. In February 2024, Pep did hold his hands up and take full responsibility for Palmer's lack of game time when he said, For young players, we always want them to stay, but this is normal. After two or three seasons, he wants more minutes than he had the last season. I understand completely, Guardiola said. When players have the minutes that I didn't give him, for the reasons everyone knows, the other players were too good. But we knew the quality he has and the impact he has shown this season is enormous. It's not just goals and assists, it is the quality, and we knew it. He's an incredible threat for Chelsea. His great form for the Blues has also been well appreciated by club legends. Chelsea icon Ashley Cole spoke of the 21-year-old's incredible skills. I've had the pleasure to work with him and see the quality he possesses, Cole said. He's a very intelligent winger who likes to come off the line. He's got a bright future, Eden Hazard stated. His coach, Mauricio Pochettino, has also showered praise on him in every given opportunity. He's been raving about the youngster's ability and even likened him to former Real Madrid and PSG star Angel Di Maria. In the position that he plays and because he's a left footer and because he has some similarities and qualities, he's a potential Angel Di Maria. Angel is a world champion with Argentina in 2022 and he's an amazing player. Palmer has the capacity and the potential to be close to him with time. So where did Cole Palmer come from? Cole Germain Palmer is an English professional footballer who plays as an attacking midfielder or winger for Premier League club Chelsea and the England national team. He was born on May 6, 2002 in Manchester, England. Palmer joined Manchester City's academy at the under-8 level and moved through the youth ranks at the club. He captained City's under-18 during the 2019-20 season and helped the side win the FA Youth Cup, scoring in the final against Chelsea. Palmer's exceptional skills and tactical awareness were evident from the start. He impressed coaches and scouts alike with his dribbling ability, vision and knack for scoring goals. In the 2019-20 season, he was named among the substitutes for the Manchester City senior team on four occasions, including for a Premier League fixture against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, but made no appearances. Palmer's men's first team debut arrived in the 2020-21 season when he started in the Carabao Cup fourth round against Burnley. His first senior goal arrived a year later when he struck against Wickham Wanderers in the same competition. He also made his UCL debut in the 2020-21 season, playing eight minutes. Interestingly, on the day Palmer was making just his second ever Premier League appearance for Man City, on October 16th against Burnley, Palmer found himself playing and scoring a hat-trick for City's under-23 side that same night, showing his commitment to the game. In the 2021-22 season, he scored his first and currently only goal in the Champions League, playing a total of three matches. He also played four matches in the Premier League during the season. It was at this time that Palmer Palmer must have voiced his concerns over his playing time and pleaded with Guardiola to give him a chance. Pep listened at least a bit. In the 2022-23 season, Palmer established himself as a regular in the City squad. He made 25 appearances across all competitions for a total of 850 minutes and ended the campaign as a Premier League, Champions League and FA Cup winner. Now, many of those games included late substitute appearances, although he did have a key role to play in cup victories over some of the biggest sides in the country. He featured throughout the side in the run to the final of the FA Cup. 
During the 22-23 season, he played a total of 14 matches in the Premier League, starting twice and making one assist. He scored his only goal of the season in the FA Cup against Burnley. At the start of the 23-24 season, immediately before his move to Chelsea, he scored in both the Community Shield and the UEFA Super Cup. But still, Palmer was not satisfied with his minutes. He wanted to be a regular starter at all costs. His lack of playing time led him to move to Chelsea. In a January 2024 interview, Palmer revealed that he intended to never leave Manchester City. However, the club refused to let him go out on loan for a year, saying to him, you either stay or you get sold, which influenced Palmer's exit in search of regular game time. On September the 1st, 2023, Palmer signed for Premier League club Chelsea on a seven-year contract with the option of a further year. There was no doubt as to why Chelsea were interested in the youngster. Having dominated youth football, Palmer's dribbling ability and eye for a long-range shot would have caught the eye of any manager in the world. In addition to this, he had been influential in the Man City squad of the previous season. He made his Chelsea debut coming on as a substitute at home to Nottingham Forest just one day after his signing. His first start came in his fourth appearance, a Carabao Cup win over Brighton, with his first Chelsea goal scored when he converted a penalty. That was in a 4-1 win at Burnley in October of 2023. Now we think this shows a lot about his character. To walk into a new club, and one of the biggest clubs in the world by the way, and to command the role of taking penalties, well that takes some courage and confidence. Having quickly cemented himself as a first choice penalty taker, Palmer's first four goals came from the spot, including a stoppage time equaliser against former club Manchester City the day before he received his first call-up to the England senior squad. As of April 3rd, 2024, Palmer has scored a total of 13 goals and 8 assists in 25 league appearances for Chelsea. He's Chelsea's leading scorer this season, as well as their top assist provider. At the international level, having represented England through the junior age groups and played at the European Under-17 Championships, Palmer was part of the side that won the European Under-21 Championship in the summer of 2023. In November of the 23-24 season, as a reward for his great start to his Chelsea career, Palmer was a late call-up to the England senior squad for European Championship qualifiers against Malta and North Macedonia. He came on in the second half of the Malta match at Wembley to earn his first cap, with England winning the match 2-0. Palmer's standout attributes of mesmerising ball manipulation, elegant agility and acceleration, proficient passing and formidable finishing make him one of the best youngsters in the world in 2024. He was named Young Player of the Year at the London Football Awards. Without a doubt, Cole Palmer is currently in the form of his life and is the most impressive youngster in the Chelsea squad. Some believe that the last youngster who was this impressive and impactful for Chelsea was Frank Lampard. So will Cole Palmer have the sustained impact of Lampard and become part of the unbeatable team Todd Bully is building at Chelsea? Or is he just a one-season wonder? Let us know what you think in the comments section and we'll see you at the next video.